this is Indigenous Peoples 101. Now, we will begin. How? Today we will be discussing stereotypes associated with Native Americans and the truth behind them. My hope is that today's lecture will make you think differently about the people of the First Nations. Regarding greetings, how was used only by the Sioux tribe, who had inhabited the Dakotas, Minnesota, and North Dakota in, the, say, in North America. When most people think of Native Americans, they picture a sports mascot, well-known advertisement, or old cartoon image, which portrays them as warriors with red-tinted skin. Or you might think of them as casino owners with slick suits that receive large amounts of money from the federal government. Both of these ideas are not true. In reality, Indian casinos have not wiped out Native poverty. 98% of Native tribes aren't affected by casino gaming. 98%. Most Native, most of the money goes, most Native casinos don't make much money for the tribes because most of the money goes to the reservation's expenses and only more well-known tribe casinos make that much money. I'd like to dispel other rumors. Native Americans do not receive large amounts of money regularly or get a free ride from the government like most people believe they do. There are very few cases where Native Americans can win money back from the government. And though they do receive some federal aid, this is only because of treaties written out when their land was taken, often forcefully by them. Hundreds of said treaties have not been honored by the federal government even after many centuries. Natives are not predisposed to alcohol, as many people believe. Drunkenness in other social groups is often overlooked due to their higher socioeconomic status. And most people blame the drunk Indians for issues of this sort. Many terms in the past used to identify Native people are inappropriate and offensive terms to use. For example, the term squaw is similar to calling a Native woman a whore, and redskin is the term used by settlers to describe the Native Americans when they were scalped by the settlers. The term Indian would indicate natives from India. Native American is more widely accepted, but still problematic because their lands weren't called America until they were colonized. The preferred has to be called men, women, and children like everyone else, because every tribe name translates to the people in their language. Please remember all native tribes are diverse, like you all are, with their own religions, <laughs> cultures, and tribal ways. You know, they didn't all live in teepees and wear feather headdresses, any more than all of you live in the same neighborhood, etc. There is a common attitude among people that Native Americans that the first peoples had nothing good to offer us, which is completely untrue. If they hadn't introduced us to Foods like corn, rice, pumpkins, sweet potatoes, strawberries, beans and preppers, cornbread, and even coffee, the colonists would have starved. Me too. <laughs> the settlers would not have survived for more than a few months without the help of native medicine. I would like to note is the romanticism of America's heroes. In reality, a lot of them are extremely brutal to the Native Americans and contemptuous of their ways of life. George, for example, George Washington annexed and sold their lands without permission from the tribes. <clears throat> Teddy Roosevelt described Native people as lecherous, filthy, and faithless in his award-winning book, The Winning of the West. <clears throat> And part of the Declaration of Independence describes them as, describes the Native Americans as merciless savages. Many Americans are still being taught in first grade that Christopher Columbus discovered America. He never even landed on North America, only near southern regions like Hispaniola. Uh, Columbus is not the generous hero many people make him out to be. While building his settlements in the Bahamas, he committed acts of he and his men committed acts of genocide so horrible it inspired the Nazi Holocaust when Hitler read about it. According to Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez, 
They executed one native man, woman, and child every 10 minutes, the largest recorded genocide in human history. The hero, Columbus, even spearheaded the entire transatlantic slave trade. The true discoverer of America was a Christian Viking named Leif Erikson. He landed on the beaches of what is currently called Canada and North America in the year 1000 AD in search of a new settlement for his family after they were exiled from Iceland. He built a few settlements on the land, calling it Vinland due to its grapes, and stayed on the land without conflict with the natives for years. The savage warrior or noble savage stereotypes are also untrue. The Native Americans did not see honor or righteousness in bloodshed, and would only kill if there were reasons of a social or political type behind it, usually to protect the land and people. When war broke out, many tribes would use a non-lethal technique called counting coup to fight. Using a wooden stick called a coup stick, they would run through the fields, not on horseback. The Europeans, they didn't have horses until the Europeans arrived, and swat people with the stick without killing. Methods like this were seen as very brave to them, and it would honor the life of the warrior who committed it, who would then be rewarded with gifts like tribal masks or feathered hats to show his or her honor. Unfortunately, the savage stereotype is often portrayed by the media and various sports teams that use racist, stereotypical mascots despite complaints from various tribes on the matter. Please think differently about indigenous peoples. One of the most common views on Native Americans is that their women were not valued in their tribes, which like most of our views on them is untrue. Women had a lot of power in Native tribes and either served on the tribal councils or gave good advice to men who were on them. A few even fought in battles and even the more patrilineal tribes valued their women highly. The reason this stereotype exists is that as far as the Europeans were concerned, males were dominant in any society. So when they wrote about the tribes, they imparted their own ways on the tribes, their own values on the tribes, and imparted Christian ways on them. Okay. Despite the various issues associated with people of First Nations, such as tobacco addiction, intertribal divisions and rivalry, legal issues, debate over sovereign status, and general stereotyping slash racism. Native Americans are working hard to try to solve these issues and educate the public about the truth behind their cultures. Many reservations now have, call, have cap police academies, colleges, and educational facilities to help out the people of their societies. Once again, please try to learn more about Native Americans. Do not use unsupported myths to view these people who have gone through so much already. Hmm. Maybe, pursue, few those, maybe pursue further studies in Aboriginals. I hope this speech has been I hope this speech has been informative for you. And that after this, you try to think of, you know, try to think differently about people of the First Nations. And remember, don't speak them like this of the red men, pale faces. Thank you. <laughs> Have a great time.